Do you want to stop watching porn and finally be satisfied fully in your relationship? Then keep watching. What's up? My name is Gabriel Collender and let's dive right in. So point number one, you have to understand the effect that watching porn has on your brain, on your dopamine levels, on your overall neurology and chemical makeup in your body. We as men and as humans are not meant to constantly be overstimulated with dopamine hits, which happen when you look at one porn video, then two, then five, then 10, then 20, then 50, which most of you men out there know, myself included back when I used to watch porn, looking for that one video that's gonna be the perfect one. And it's so difficult to find. And then the next day, you have to look again. And you're just constantly getting triggered into making your body think that you are actually connecting and being aroused by a new viable real human female when in actuality it's it's just some chick on the computer so your brain and your chemicals are getting triggered in a non-realistic way and then that's just going to lead to an over abundance of stimuli for you that you keep having to have more and more and more and it is not conducive towards actually feeling satisfied in your relationship Step two is you have to accept that this is a process. It is not something that's gonna change overnight. It's gonna take days, weeks, months to really let this stuff go. I'm over a year and a half in of not watching the porn anymore myself, and I still can have little triggers, little things come up, but I accept and understand where I am, that I'm on this journey, and I know what my overall goals are and I also understand what the benefits are. And just don't put that pressure on yourself to be perfect, to just fix yourself instantaneously. Like we as men like to do, be like, oh, I'm all good now. Enjoy the journey, appreciate the journey. Look at the things that come up for you, the, the desires, the uncomfortableness, the emotions that might be arising from your own self that you could have even been pushing down through looking at porn all the time. Point three, nobody can make you do this. Nobody can make you stop watching porn. Only you can decide to do that and you have to actually desire and want to do that. You can't white knuckle it. You can't be like, my wife wants me to do it. My girlfriend wants me to do it. It doesn't work. You, deep within yourself, have to desire for more connection, more satisfaction within yourself as a man, and that will give you the drive to actually make the change. Point number four, and the last one, is think about why you really wanna make that change. Is that the kind of man that you want to be to your girlfriend, to your wife, to your future partner, if you're single at the moment? Do you really want to struggle so much to be able to feel that satisfaction of being with one beautiful, amazing, sexy, vivacious woman? Or do you wanna constantly be comparing and saying, ooh, but she doesn't look like this, she doesn't do this thing. Ooh, I wanna go check out this other dopamine hit that's gonna trigger all that juicy chemical stuff in your brain, but it actually isn't gonna be healthy. You have to make that decision. You have to want to be the best version of yourself. You want to be able to and desire to go into the uncomfortability because you know that the long run results of what you're going to get from doing this and letting go of watching porn, it's absolutely worth it. I can say from my own personal experience, the amount of satisfaction, pleasure, and enjoyment I get through having sexual connection, both with myself and my own pleasure practice, as well as with my beautiful, sexy, and amazing wife is so much greater because I'm letting go of all these preconceived notions of what I want, how I want it in this exact way. And instead of being open to what naturally and authentically flows in our sexual and sensual connection and in all of the other aspects of our relationship, and I'm much less focused on just the sex as being one of the biggest forms of connection. But that's a topic for another video. So to wrap things up, point number one was that you need to understand the actual neurology and chemical processes that are going on in your brain when you watch porn and you're looking at 20, 30, 50 different videos every day to find the one that you really like and how that just screws up your dopamine levels so much. Point two is you need to accept that this is a process. It's going to take time, whether it's 
months or years allow it the space that it needs to naturally occur and to let go of these behaviors and patterns. Step three, nobody can make you actually do this except yourself because you are the person that has to decide. That is the only true drive that will allow you to let go of porn and move beyond that and experience so much satisfaction in your sex life and in life in general. And last but not least, point four is you need to think, what kind of man do I want to be? How do I want to show up with my girlfriend, with my wife, with my future girlfriend or wife? How do I want to connect with her? How do I want to view her from a place of, wow, I'm with this amazing, beautiful, sexy woman or ah, she's cool, but now I want to go off on my own and go look at a bunch of different videos to get my rocks off because she's not enough for me. I think you know what answer you want to pick there. I hope you enjoyed that video and were able to get some value from it. If you did, definitely check out the recommended video I have for you above and head over to my website, put your information in to get added to my mailing list so that way you can be notified whenever I put out any other awesome content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.